Good morning, traders. This is Brad Matheny. Today is June 11th, Sunday. I took a break from doing these last two videos, the uh, Met Rotational Modeling and uh, Real Estate video uh, and the Bitcoin video. I took a break yesterday and, and I'm doing them today, Sunday. Um, I am going to try to tell you that I think we're going to be moving into a period of relative chaos over the next six to 12 months, watching what's going on with, you know, the news and the Fed, and uh, if you have time, spend some time looking at the Mint Rotational Modeling System and Real Estate video today. There's a lot of things that are playing out. So let me come back over here, and I want to highlight, uh, as members, my job is to try to provide you some guidance with regards to what's coming over the next 6 to 12 months and how to protect your capital. If you remember, last week I moved capital away from our allocation. Let's come back over here. Resize this as I may need it. So right to there works. Actually spend this a little over here. Perfect. So this week the volatility index has rallied up to 16.65. This is a huge number folks. This is the highest I've seen in four and a half to five years. I cannot tell you that this is extreme topping. I mean, this is, I'm warning you, I can't, you know, hit you in the head with a brick any harder than to tell you this is extreme topping uh, setup right now. Very, very extreme topping. I think we're going to move into a very volatile period. Um, you need to be aware of it. If you have not already protected your capital, do it right now meaning Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, be prepared. We could see a very big collapse like we saw back over here. This could move into a new downward trend. We could see it roll downward for four, five, maybe six months into the end of the year. I don't know. It is extremely toppy right now. I, we do not have any very clear uh, uh, opportunity to the upside. The only opportunity we have right now is maybe a bit of a move in innovation, two or three weeks. Real estate has moved into extreme seller desperation. Okay, so we are now in a shift in real estate, which should have been expected. If you know anything about Fed funds rates and how things work, there's normally a 12 to 15 month lag when the Fed starts raising rates before the real estate market starts showing signs of that uh, shift in the market. I think what's going to come next in the real estate market is uh, some real uneasy uh, price valuation. We're seeing essentially everything's flattening out. The tightness rank has moved a little higher. Uh, real estate inventory strength has flattened and started to weaken. Seller desperation is up to 316%. I think this could go even higher. Um, we're All the other data really, take a look at this, is completely flat. The heat rank is flat. The uh, price trends are moving downward. Active listings have bottomed off of a very low level. I think homes have pretty much been moving into pre-foreclosure. Um, price reductions have flatlined. That means that homes are coming out of the market. You can see it here. New listing count metrics. Everybody tried to sell their house through here. That's what new listings are here. And now listings have declined. Why are listings declining in a market environment like this? To me, it's because they're being pulled off the market, moving into foreclosure. Okay. But ideally, I wanted to show you this. Last week, I moved our stock allocation from 35% down to 20%. In reality, if, you know, if I could, I'd move it down to 10% right now. And of course, I could, but I'm not going to change everything, all the videos right now. But this gives you an idea that you need to be very, very prepared for a downside move. We're bullish, bullish, bullish. We're up near this upper channel here. We've reached my levels, essentially 431, 435 on the SPY. I'm calling this my target. I kept saying it has to move above 425, and then I moved it up to 431, 430. Then eventually I measured that we have to get up above 434, 435 to complete this move, okay? But I really do believe that we are near this peak. We could get a little bit of a bounce next week. You know, maybe my 434, 435 level comes into play. We get briefly above this level right here, this line, just briefly. That would be called a scouting party. We're testing this area, seeing if we can find any support up in this area. It would get rejected and move down. 
into this area, possibly down into this lower area, 387, 386, maybe 384, finding support and then moving back up and setting up a flag. Now I've drawn this flag, this blue flag here and over here as an idea of what I think could happen. Obviously there's no, other than this price peak right here, there's no low for me to really reference over here. I'm just drawing what I think is likely to happen. But again, this tells me that we are very near that chaos point. And remember, what is confirming that chaos point for me right now, that rotational point is right here. This tells me that we have reached an extreme high. We are at the highest level possible. This is technically very overbought. This is bullish trending. Don't take it the wrong way. This is bullish trending with an extreme overbought mode. So we're looking for a pullback down into this 9, 10, 11, 12 area, maybe, maybe deeper. And that you can see that pullbacks up in this area, like from over here, this was a fairly high level, can be aggressive. Pullbacks from up in these highs can be aggressive. This is COVID. Pullback from highs can be aggressive. You can see 6 7% pullbacks from these areas very, very quickly. From where we're at right now, the way this short squeeze went from 10, 11, 12 up to 16, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at top. This is as toppy as it gets. I mean, we could get another week up here, 16, 17, 18, and I'll tell you again, it's even worse. It's it's even more toppy, but this is this is it. This is, in my opinion, the top. We're very, very close to the top. Okay, Bitcoin. So let's come back. Uh, Let's come back to Bitcoin. What we see here, this is a daily Bitcoin chart. You have my custom index here with Bitcoin. You can see how, um, this is daily again. Yep, daily. You can see how we saw this momentum from 20 all the way up. Let me spread this out, make sure, yep, okay. So here's where we have the levels, the weakening levels. So we have a level at 51, we have a level down here at uh, 20, roughly 2021, and then we have a level, a lower level down here at eight, which would be extremely oversold. Okay, you can see how we wrap, we move down this channel, and I'll move to a weekly so I can show you. And then I've drawn this Fibonacci in here to try to highlight the range that's taking place. And it looks like we have a Fibonacci down here as well. Let me see. Yep, we have a Fibonacci over here as well. So. Where we're at here, and I'm gonna draw this for you so you can see, is we have this rally mode here. You can see this rally in this area, and then we have a rally in this area, and then we have a bit of a recovery trend here. So this recovery trend, which is not necessarily a rally, it's just basically a recovery to the upside, I want you to be aware of the fact that what this is really doing for us in the, in the lack of a rally mode here, what this is doing is this is setting up a secondary topping formation like this. So what we're doing is we're setting up a secondary topping formation where we have this double top type of scenario right across here. And what this is doing is setting up for another downside move, just like I predicted back over here. So what we're looking at right here is a potential for this to move downward, kind of like I predicted, indicating a bit of a downward cycle move back into this area, kind of like I was saying, that'll put Bitcoin in the 22 to 23,000 area maybe a bit deeper if it moves down below this level. If we get below this 26, 27 area on my custom Bitcoin index, we could be attempting to retest these lower price areas. Notice that in a decline, Bitcoin tends to weaken and move downward. In a decline, we sit, tend to see Bitcoin setting up these, these downward type trends. We've now set up this double topping formation with a lower high. This is the double top right across here. I believe we're going to be moving downward into this 22, 21,000 area 
And what we have to be cautious of here, folks, is like I said, as we move back down across these levels, okay, this weakening takes place with the chaos that's going to unwind out of the markets. <clears throat> You're going to see Bitcoin likely move um, from the 25, 26,000 area that we're at right now down into this 22, 21,000, maybe 23,000 area. Try to find some support, but ultimately, okay, Bitcoin, if it's going to weaken, it's going to try to get below this 1920 area. So understand that once we once we get down into this 26, 27, 30 area right over in here, this is where we need to try to find some support in this area. Otherwise, like I said, oops, we're going to be looking for an ultimate downward trend here. And maybe a weekly chart would be better. We're going to be looking for an ultimate downward trend down in this area, down in this 17, 16, 17, 15,000 area. And that is going to be our unwinding. Now, Bitcoin could have a very big rally phase moving out, as I was telling you, into this phase here. But the unwinding, ladies and gentlemen, of assets taking place over the next 15, 16 months Remember, through all the chaos that's taking place, through the Fed, through the devaluation of the successive bubble, we need to essentially unwind the assets. So I'm predicting that we're going to see a move back down into these recent lows, where ultimately we could come down into this six, seven, eight, nine thousand area down in this area. This is, let's measure uh, 6,800 roughly to 10,000, 11,000 we could unwind way down here into these areas. But what I'm trying to forewarn you is that we have a very solid potential for uh, downward rotation in this channel, staying in this mode of downward decline through the next, and this is a weekly chart, so I'm gonna highlight out until possibly August, September. So in reality, this is our ultimate low way over here. Right, move this a little bit. And then we have essentially a moderate low taking place right in this area, which becomes our secondary low. So this is the low we're looking for right now. This is the low price area that we're looking for right now. About a five, if I measure from where we're at right now, 25.6 down to 22, about four or $5,000 downward move. Maybe getting down to this level down here. Maybe getting down to this level here, 19,940 roughly. Uh, but again, weakening, the way I see it here, folks, is we're, we're running into resistance. We're being rejected. This close was a high close right up here. It should have been able to withstand this moving higher. It was rejected. It tried to rally back above it. It was rejected. If we then see this move downward, then we are going to see Bitcoin move into a decidedly downward trend off of this rejection, just like I predicted uh, you can see through this upward rotation here, we saw Bitcoin actually move down. Um, so this is essentially um, telling us that this is a, a uh, reloading of downward pressure, of rejection, moving into the downside move. I believe we're going to see this $22,000, $23,000 price level uh, within the next maybe five, six, seven weeks. Um, and ultimately, we could see 19,000 below 20,000 trying to find support over in this area. This becomes a very critical low right here. But ultimately, we might see some support out of this, might rally back up into 28, 27, maybe a little higher. Uh, and then we'll weaken back into 2024. As you can see, we will weaken back into these potentially ultimate lows. This is where I think the market reaches the global markets, reaches um, capitulation. So what I would expect from this thing, this indicator up here, is I would expect essentially 
uh, and I've drawn all these lines. So I'm going to try to draw another one just to tell you what's going on. I would expect weakness coming down into this area, finding some support, rallying back up again, maybe up into this area, weakening, maybe double topping, weakening, and then eventually maybe moving down to this 987 before we find some sort of real support. We're going to be in a broad unwinding phase taking place over the next 15, 16 months with a lot of chaos. Understand that speculation in assets is still going to take place. We might see some good moves in Bitcoin and other cryptos. But of course, with Binance and the Department of Justice really trying to uh, punish those that are skirting the law right now, I think we're going to see some real unwinding. Now, Bitcoin is different. I know Bitcoin is a unique um, asset compared to many others. Um, but the unwinding of the assets is still going to take place. The general consensus of chaos and concern and uh, unpredictability is still going to be um, first and foremost for a lot of a lot of traders. OK, so now we're going to come over here to the Bitcoin chart. And you can see my drawing from the previous weeks. I want to make sure I can drag this without drawing lines. This is, again, my prediction. We'll see how it plays out. Um, we do have these weakness. We do have this support level here. Then we have that deeper support level here. Remember, I'm ultimately predicting, this is daily, that we could come down into this $2,200, $2,300 level. And remember how I had been drawing these as the ranges for these midpoint levels. Um, so I've been using these uh, wave factors and drawing across the midpoint. So now let's take a look here, see if we have any new. And I like to use weekly, so weekly is very important. So we have a new downward trend here. It is not completed yet, so I can't use it. So what we would be looking for, ladies and gentlemen, is the midpoint of this previous cycle, which is this level here. I will highlight this as best I can. Try to make it dotted, I'll make it solid. And I will add some text and essentially this level, background white, uh, come in here, visibility 100%. And this becomes our critical low target. So this becomes our critical low target. This, this kind of bluish line right here, that kind of bluish green line becomes our critical low target. I want you to be aware that that is the level that we are looking for uh, immediate support, 23,040, sorry, let's try it again, 22,970 roughly. That's where we're looking for immediate critical support. Temporary support is going to be right here. Temporary low support is going to be right here where I've drawn earlier at 24,340 roughly. So these are where, again, Bitcoin, if, my, if, if you were to ask me what I thought Bitcoin was going to do, and this is obviously the purpose of the video, is I would tell you that Bitcoin is going to come down here, tag this 24,340, 315 level, um, po uh, find support, maybe rally back up into this 26,400, 500 level. Like I've seen here, it would be very important to see this move because this sets up, again, this sets up an A, B, C type move. Why is this critical? Well, look over here. We've got the same type A, B, C type move here. So this would then set up, depending on where this low is, if this low sets up here, this sets up an ABC corrective pattern, which then would provide an A potential BC, maybe, or could be a little different, could be ABC, kind of like this, 
into a support level back over here and ultimately may be attempting to double bottom across this level. You see how I've drawn this? This would be essentially a massive double bottom taking place here where we set up some sort of a big support level before we eventually maybe get into some weakening or some support level. So it's critical that we see what happens over the next two or three weeks. But again, I believe we're going to be moving downward into this cycle. I believe the weakening of this double topping formation here is going to push Bitcoin downward into this 22 to 23, maybe $2,100 area um, over the next five, six, seven weeks, maybe eight weeks. Then we're going to try to find some support, maybe back up into this $2,600, $2,800 area, and then weaken back down here, maybe setting up, again, a low around 19, 18,000, which will be above this extreme low. And remember, where we're at here is we're trying to establish a base off of this level and a base off of this level. So in reality, this becomes, and I'll just highlight this as a critical low as we move forward. A critical low means support. Okay, so we'll do this and we'll draw it in a bright blue. And then we will say, this is our critical low. Then we run over to here and this becomes our critical low. And ideally, as we run through this rotation, we are going to run into this level next as our critical low. So this will become our new critical low right there. And what this is going to tell us is that we have established a new upward low. We failed to break below this, crit this critical low and this critical low. This means that price at this level, if it fails to break below this critical low, which is this one, then we are going to be moving up again. So we are going to move from a downward cycle phase to an upward cycle phase back over here in August, September, October 2024. And that's going to start a new potential upward phase. This is where I see we're going to move into real appreciation. Might be a shift in the markets. Definitely probably related to the presidency and uh, potential new laws related to crypto and what have you. Okay, lastly... Don't want to go on forever. This Ether uh, to BTC. And I really do appreciate the comments that I'm getting on these videos. I'm trying my best and I'm using technical analysis to predict this for you. So remember, I am not 100% accurate on these things. I'm just telling you what I see. Remember when I started with this, I just opened up a blank chart. And I went through the entire process of you know, going through the analysis from these peaks and lows, these highs back in 2017, all the way to where we're at right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this out and I'm going to tell you what's going on right now. Okay, we've seen this rotation to the downside. Let's go back to daily. Let's look to see if we've got any breaking of. So, yep, here we go. Try to make this as easy as I can for you. So we've got this level which I do not want to extend. We've got this level breaking, indicating that we are now in a downtrend. So again, ladies and gentlemen, downtrending away right here. Very clear break of intermediate support right here. Very clear downward trending. We have a number of Potential standout lows here, here, and again, this is how I see the markets, here, and down here. So I'm going to highlight these, and then I'm going to go back to weekly, <clears throat> and I'm going to try to take a look at where we're at with this. So... Did we come up and hit the levels that I had drawn over the past couple of weeks? Yep, we sure did, right over here. We came up and hit those levels. We didn't get quite above this level, but we did come up and hit that, that zone right up in here, right over here. We hit it, came very close. Now we rolled downward to this zone. Look at where we're at. We zoned right into that area. I suggested that we are going to find some weakness. 
look at my squiggles. I mean, I hate to tell you, but I suggested that we're going to find some weakness, move back down into this area and or this area, and look at what comes right in that area. See these lines? These lines become critical support. They, they become the next targets for price. Remember, price is always attempting to break new highs and new lows. Now, we have a little one right here. Forgot to highlight it, but we have a little one right there. Oop. I don't know what that is. So understand that that little low right there and the rejection that we had just a couple of days ago, that tells us that we've run into intermediate support, aligning with this squiggle that I drew, I don't know when, last week or the week before, because I've only been doing this now for three weeks on this chart. But we are now in a downtrend. This is rejection. This bar closed, closing below this critical low tells us we're in a downtrend. We're now targeting this level. We've reached it. We're now targeting this level. We haven't reached it yet. We will likely get here. If this low fails to hold, then we will come down into this area, maybe a bit lower down into this area, try to find some support here. Price is always attempting to establish new price highs and new price lows. Failure to move above this level here with this double topping level that's set up right here indicates that this is rejection at this level. This tells us that it failed to establish a new price high. It did here, it did here, it did here, it did here. But failure at this level says it's reached its ceiling. Now it's rolled downward. It has established these lows moving downward. It's now gonna attempt to take out new price lows. So where's the next new price low? Here, here, we got one back over here we haven't broken yet. Here, here, we got a little one here, we got a little one down here, and eventually we have one down here. Okay, so it's going to move downward. It's going to target a downward cycle trend, probably down into this area, possibly down into this area, trying to find these levels. Remember, it's gonna run into some support around this area which is because of these lows that I showed you earlier. Follow my squiggles right here. And it's gonna run into some support right in this area. It's gonna to try to find some support right in this area. If it fails to hold in those areas, okay, then it has to, understand, it has to attempt to take out this low or this low or this low or this low or all of them and then attempt to reach back down here to this low, which is the ultimate low. This is our unique low right here. This is the low. Well, actually, you probably have a unique low here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Wow. Uh, I'll call that just a critical low on this chart. The volatility down in that area and the proximity that it's it's right borderline it really is borderline you want you want to see a, at least a 15 or 20 bar um range where this this level has not been touched or breached before we got to about 17 um and i'll tell you that i will call this a critical low and this is the unique low so ultimately the failure of this level which is a unique high and this is a unique high Unique highs are very critical. Those are the upper, the real hard boundaries of price. <clears throat> so now this is not a unique low. This is a critical low. This is a unique low and this is a unique low. So we really have to look at this area. If price is moving downward, okay, ultimately it is targeting this area. It wants to try to move down to this area because that is the unique low so again we could see it move all the way down but it's going to have to get past these resistance areas first remember we have uh sorry support areas we have support area here we have support area here we have support area here these are what are called critical lows these are intermediate support resistance areas related to us by price 
Okay, that's pretty much it for the lows that are moving downward. We have these lows here that I highlighted earlier, then we have these lower levels down here. And you can see, if I extend these out, and you can see how price plays into these levels. Remember, price gives us everything. Price tells us all we need to know. We basically could look at price and see everything we ever needed to consider with regards to what's taking place. So at this point, even though my lines were incorrect, I predicted it was gonna come up here, it's gonna run into resistance, pull back to this area, and then possibly go to this area. That's what I predicted way back over here, a couple weeks back. Look at what happened. It rallied back up at here, ran into this double top. I highlighted that for you with this line, which is a little off, but it should be right there. Ran into that area. I told you it may get above it probably and reject. It never got above it and rejected. We're in a downtrend. This bar confirmed our downtrend. How far did it go? It ran to this area stalled, which aligns perfectly with my prediction here. I believe it's going to continue to move downward to this area, which is going to be measured in this area. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, because we have this downward cycle phase, now we need to see how far it's going to break below these critical lows. Remember, all these little uh, light blue ones here are critical, uh, meaning they're temporary lows. Price is going to try to blow through these if it can, looking for support at any one of these. But ultimately, this is the area that it's targeting now. It's rejected this high. I'm going to change this to a line. It has rejected this high. It is now seeking out this low. Okay, so it is in a downward cycle trend. Okay, we will see how this plays out. This is a broad unwinding type of cycle phase. And again, it could align very cleanly with my, I'll go back to daily here. It could align very cleanly with my, S, sorry, my Bitcoin predictions here. We have Bitcoin down here and we have my, uh, custom index, Bitcoin custom index right here. We could see this weaken downward excessively down into this 2300 area, 2200 area. Um, and remember, ultimately, this is the critical low way down here. When you look at this chart, this is daily on Bitcoin. Where do we have those unique lows? We have a little one right here. This is really the next area. If I were to look at it, we're breaking down. If we get below this area, the next place it's gonna go is right here, right there, 23,977. If it fails to hold there, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna go all the way down here to 19,780 roughly. Well, actually a little lower, so 19,588. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a pretty big drop. That's going to be about a $7,000 drop in Bitcoin, given where we're at. And all we need to do right now, ladies and gentlemen, is break below this level right here. If we get below this 25400 level on a downside move in Bitcoin, we are going to see this level down here targeted 19740 roughly very, very quickly. That is going to be the next uh, ultimate low. That is the primary target of what is going to take place. We don't have any other support except for right here, 24,000, roughly 0 0.54. Um, it's basically, once it falls out of this, it'll be a waterfall event, maybe a little stalling right here, but it'll be a waterfall event trying to move right down into this area. This is ultimately the low that becomes the most critical for Bitcoin moving forward. Okay, guys, that's it. Give me your feedback. Let me know how I'm doing. I hope I'm helping you out. And uh, like I said, be prepared for chaos over the next six to 12 months. It's going to be a wild ride.